Hello and welcome back to Brandon Walks Through Suikoden 2. So, game is starting to get really exciting, I think. Um, and we're back to uh, fight Necklord one more time with the Star Dragon Sword in our hand and a new friend who is a vampire hunter. Well, time to kill a vampire. Star Dragon Sword, don't family this time. Stupid bag of flesh. <laughs> I love that line. I'm just, uh, uh, first, let's go to Necklord's place. <laughs> um, I know how to seal off Necklord's power. We're going in, Brandon. Yeah. So, um, if you notice, I think that leads outside. <laughs> Whoops. Um, if you notice, I'm dumb. Uh, no, if you uh, head up here again, now it's not sealed anymore. So let's go to the right first. Here's a chest. We got a fire rune. Oh, I totally forgot to mention. By the way, uh, before coming to North Window, I didn't come straight from the cave. I actually uh, went, rested up in um, Cus Cus and sold a few items that weren't important, like another medicine. And like, I should have sold these boots, I'm surprised I didn't. Um, because we're going to get about six items here. Um, and I know we can't drop anything off right now, it's kind of frustrating. So, and to, to also put some room, um, oops. Uh, also to make some room, I put the uh, friendship room on the weapon, on the Star Dragon Sword, so that way uh, Victor's strength has increased based on how many recruits that we've had so far. We've been pretty diligent about getting some, so his strength in his attack increases a decent amount. See, he's at 194, so I'll be interested to see how much... Yeah, that is quite a lot, actually. Um, also, I put the wind extra wind rune that I won from the Griffin um, on Ellie, which increases her chance of uh, blocking magic, I believe. Um, yeah, I can't see it right now. Okay, so from here, let's head to the left. Um, and then we can't go down there, and I don't think any of these are. They're kind of marked with that white line. Hmm, interesting. So let's see if we can head down here. Nope, just a bunch of zombies, which is typical. Stupid zombies. Ah, fifty damage. Yeah, Victor does a, a, a good amount of damage. I'll I'll keep him, <laughs> and we'll get rid of him right now. <laughs> Alright, so now that those zombies are out of the way, they're kind of nice for leveling us up, but still not enough gold in my opinion. 600? That's like 100 per zombie. Zombies should be carrying more gold on their person, so we reap the benefits. Ah. Hello? Uh, hmm. That's one of the doorways, but actually, if we go back um, to this other door here, right in this room, we'll head downstairs, and if you notice, there's not really much here aside from what I want to show you, a hint, haha, -ha. uh, that room we were just in, so, um, so we'll push the, both the middle and the far left one up, we might be able to get something a little extra, because there's two scarabs on the wall that, if you notice... Oh, it's so creepy with the organ playing in the background, because you know who's playing it. Um, okay, so this one goes up. How about this one? Aha! So if you go up to this middle, you get the darkness room. Um, which is interesting. Death magic usable. <laughs> um... That's just creepy. So now that we have both doors open, uh, we'll head on up. 
keep heading up. Let's see here. I'm surprised how many uh, battles we haven't gotten into yet. Now, uh, thing to notice here. You see how they're lit right now? Let's, uh, let's light the bottom row the same exact way. With leaving the fourth one not open. Or not lit. And it'll open that door, which will lead us to a blue ribbon. Which is actually pretty good. I think. No, it is. Uh, can't be targeted. So, meh, it's alright. Uh, it's better than gloves. Better than toe shoes? Heck no. Alright, so... Now, if we just light uh, the fourth one and this one, then we'll get the, the door to head on up. So pretty easy. So, some puzzles that, you know, some people can pass by some treasure if they're not paying, paying close enough attention. Oh, I wish this would stay here. You'll see what I mean. Um, so we have three down. Now three to more to go, and two of the treasures are right here in front of us. So a chainmail and a necklace. Uh, if you notice, chainmail 16, and only Freed Y will be able to equip it, which she's thankful for. And then the necklace is seven, and no one can equip it right now. So I'm not too worried about the necklace. It's only plus seven. So we'll head on up over here, and. Uh, have a statue, you can't move them because they're huge. Um, and there's one more uh, treasure to get here. Um, I think I messed up again. Big surprise. Alright. Um, I'm going to cut the video to see where the, the last uh, item is. It's a stone of magic defense, so I do want to go back and get it. Um, I'll show you where it's at and then we'll uh, meet back up here, so. Okay. So from this room, I don't even know how I missed this because I swear I went down these stairs. Um, you go down these and then you head all the way to this end right here and you get the Stone of Magic Defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I just use all my uh, things on my hero just because you know that he's gonna be with you and it's important that he has good stats. So 81 Magic Defense now. Um, hooray! Bam! Now I'm back here. Wasn't that fast. I love editing. Um, so we'll head back up to where we were. Sorry about that mistake. I, I can't believe I missed that. Um, and good thing we went when we did, because this is the final room. Ooh, since chills down your spine just watching him play. I'm surprised we're just standing there, letting them finish. I've been waiting for you, Victor, Star Dragon Sword, and. Eh. Is that the Mali boy? I'm so glad you could come. Between the Star Dragon Sword and the vampire hunting secrets of the Mali family, your time is running out, vampire. That's right! Get ready to die! Wait. Don't be in such a rush. Of course I understand that, but I have my own ideals as well. That's why I summoned you. I have someone that I'd like you to meet. So what do you think? Feeling nostalgic? Her name is Daisy, isn't it? Bastard! Well, do you give up? Just hand the Star Dragon Soul to me, and I'll let you have the girl, okay? V Victor? D Daisy. Victor! If we lose the Night Rune, we'll never be able to defeat Net Lord. <laughs> Victor, help me! What's wrong with you? Hand that sword over to me! S 
dodge right in sword. Do whatever you like. A lot of years have passed since then. It was so long ago that I can barely even remember her face. Okay. Listen to me, bloodsucker. I know that once a person is dead, they're gone forever. Woo! Victor here isn't stupid enough to be fooled by your little drama. Let's go, pal. Watch what you call me. Let's go, Brandon. We've got to destroy him. Yeah! <laughs> Careful how you talk to me! <laughs> you! You! Well, anyway, we've got bigger things to worry about, so I'm sorry. Ah, oh, there's two apostrophes. Wait! Farewell! We'll meet again! <laughs> Expletives! He'll be back, Victor. Dang it. But what's this? He left a little present for us. So now we have to fight the Abomination. This guy uh, has given me trouble uh, in the past. I remember, because um, if you lose against him, you have to do this dungeon all over again. But we definitely want to do, you know, a little resurrection on him since he's undead and all. In the words of Calm. All right, an enemy taking the easy way out. That was a waste. Just kidding, I love it when she does that. And she needed some health anyway, it looks like. I didn't even look at see if anybody needed to be healed. But that's alright, we still got Khan with us. 69 and 61 to, to Khan and Freed, respectively. 174 um, by Victor, that's pretty sweet. I think that friendship rune helped out a lot. Ooh, brutal. I hope he can only attack twice within one turn. This is why it sucks fighting him. Yes. All right, so definitely, um, let's do Battle Oath and keep attacking. Uh, put some Repel Mist, it never hurts to do the Mist. And some Charm Arrow on that bad boy. Let's do a lot of damage to him this turn. And both Freed and Ellie have uh, items, and uh, Ellie has a rune um, that helps her repel magic too, so that always helps. I think it just adds to the percentage that it actually happens. Oh, nice! Look how many people got Berserk, and it's not even useless people too. Woo! 70 some damage. Almost 300 with, with uh, Victor Berserk. Ooh, brutal. That's why it's uh, really important to keep um, your your characters at a, a uh, to to keep them healthy, I guess. Like have have high health. Um, oh my gosh, a thousand two hundred damage. Uh, keep. I would if I would definitely keep doing the great blessing because uh, we can't risk him doing. Uh, crazy amount of damage um, on our party, and I guess have Nanami keep attacking with Ellie. And if you have any, um, the Fire Rune equipped on Ellie, or, um, you know, any Fire Arrows or anything, now's a good time, because he's also weak against Fire as well. So, we'll keep healing. Good thing he's only attacking one person right now. And it's still freed why? He really doesn't like his glasses or something. He's like, I hate your style. 800, I can deal. And now he's attacking our hero, it looks like. He can take it. He's a big boy. Alright, and that means our whole party is pretty much healed, except for Freed and um, our hero. The key is just just keep doing a crap ton of damage. <laughs> isn't, that the, isn't that the key to all the fights, though? 
Um, I'm going to have... I don't know if I should risk it. Um, I'm going to do Shining Light with Victor, Friedwai, and I'm going to have uh, Nanami heal free, because if he gets hit one more time, he's screwed. And good thing uh, Nanami's so fast, she's a... Her speed's so high that she's always the first person to go no matter what, and having the healing person be the, the fastest one is, is definitely the way to go. So 171, I'm surprised the light didn't do a little extra damage to an undead. You would think. Alright, so he hurts Victor. And there you go, that takes care of him. Alright, now that everyone leveled up, 10,000 punch, I can definitely take that. Crap! He got away! Crap, crap, crap! Oh, poor Victor. Anyway, we accomplished our mission. Necklord has fled. We should go back to South Window and give our report. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I know he's right. Well then, goodbye for now. I'm going to follow Neck Lord. When I find him, I'll send a word to you. Okay, thanks. Aw, oh, you can join us. Too bad. Uh, Cod's pretty cool, and I know a lot of people like him, especially because it's a resurrection rune. Ah, hello! Eh? Eh? What happened? Where is everyone? South Window has fallen to Highland. What did you say? Is it... Is it true? What happened to Lord Grandmire? Killed by Solon G. No. No, it can't be. Lord Grandmire! Oh man, they knew everyone was fleeing to South Window. Tell me exactly what happened. Yes. Just after you left South Window, we were attacked by General Solon G's first company. He must have judged that we didn't have a chance to win. Lord Grandmire surrendered unconditionally without a blow being struck. The very next morning, the mayor's head was hanging from the castle gate. I was with women and children, so I managed to get away. <laughs> Who did you have to thank for getting away? Quiet! Well, anyway, I wonder if Flick cross-dressed. <laughs> he was like, Woo, I'm a lady! I don't know what made me think of that, but... Well, anyway, we got away and we came after you. On the way, we met Apple, Sai, and Leon, uh, Leona. My south window. Highland is afraid of rebellion, so they're arresting former Muse and south window soldiers all over the place. Which means there is only a matter of time before the Highland army comes here. But we've got a few people and this abandoned old castle. What should we do? Let's run away! There must be a way, but Brendan... I don't know why he talked like a Spanish conquistador. But Brendan! Uh, I don't know. Um, but we can't stop the whole Highland army. We know that. What's wrong with all of you? Is running away all you can think of? Brandon is right. There must be a way. There must be. But to fight a war... We have no chance of winning. It's stupid. 
We do have a chance. What do you mean, Apple? For a small force to defeat a larger force, strategy is needed. With the right strategy, we have a chance to win. Yeah, and you figured out the strategy? No, I'm not up to the task. I've learned that the hard way. But I know someone who is. Raditown, Town, there's a man named Shu. He and I were both students under Master Matthew. Matthew expelled him, but he's brilliant. A first-class strategist. If we can get him to join us, I'm sure he'll be able to think of a winning strategy. I guess you're right. We can't keep running to the edge of the world. That's right! That's right! Okay. Let's do do our best. Um, flick. You and me should gather all the troops we can find. The South Window Soldier should still be around somewhere. As far as the shoe guy goes, I'll leave it to you, Brandon. Do your best to get him. This is important, Brandon. Raditown Town is east of South Window. I'll go along with you. Don't worry about Piccolo. I'll watch after her. Yay! Thanks, Leona. Okay, let's go, everybody. Uh, hey, 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 Apple. Is this shoe person handsome? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Hey, I'm counting on you. Hooray! So who else are you going to take? Well, let's see. Let's take Zamza. My turn again. And let's take Ricky Maru. And how about... Hmm. Anita Freed Y? That wouldn't be a bad idea. How about uh, Millie? Where is she? Millie. Yes. Millie. I am sure. And... Hmm. Kennison. Can't get it. Ah, let's go with Freed Y. Why not? Y yes sir, I'll do my best. Uh, three short range people, a long range. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, this uh, episode is well past its mark. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time when we go to Ratatown to recruit Shu.